Yo, and welcome to Shooting the Soil. Today we got an interesting one. We are looking at some probiotics under the microscope. This is a product called Yahweh from Thrive. And it's made from milk kefir, from all grass-fed cows. I hear they source their ingredients very well, so there's no pesticides or anything in there. So it sounds like some really nice healthy cows with a good, good gut biome that produce this. And then they ferment it, and this is what we got. So you see right away all the different things wiggling around in there. Here, I'll adjust the focus. We're in at 400x right now. And looks like a lot of bacillus type bacterias. Lact lactose bacillus. So that everything's flowing north on the slide right now a little bit, but you can see a whole lot of bacteria moving around in there and a lot of different shapes and sizes. This is just one drop on the slide and I'm surprised like how much stuff is actually on the slide, as you can see. Not too shabby looking. Definitely a whole lot of bacteria. And for what I'm uh, learning and whatnot, um, these type of bacteria are really good endophytes, meaning they'll actually, the plant will bring them inside the plant, they'll travel up and down, doing their thing, providing nutrients, providing immune, immune support for the plant, and uh, then they'll get spit back out to go collect more nutrients in a nice little symbiotic cycle. So yeah, rhizophagy and endophytes, it's pretty fascinating stuff. But yeah, it's a wild little cluster. Got some strand like looking things over here. Kind of looks like a hyphae right here. And then this guy, I'm not sure what it is. I think that this is, but a lot of these are yeast as well. Yeah, some interesting strands here. Here's the upper layer of the slide. Zoom back in. Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. All right, added on a couple of my plants and they all seem very happy. Yep, a lot of different shapes and size bacteria. Diversity is the key. Yeah, all sorts of little wigglies down there. <laughs> yeah, just lots of, lots of culture. Lots of bacteria culture. I did a scan around, I didn't see any big ciliates or anything running around there, which is, you know, what you would expect from a product like this. It's all about the probiotic bacteria. Probably if you saw ciliates and nematodes in there, I would wonder how they got in there. But could could be from the cows as well, if if we did find one. The cows had in them, good chance that it... Not quite sure, but could end up in the kefir, which could end up in here. Well, yeah, a lot of these little... Oh, that's a weird little... Not quite sure what these guys little are. They're little interesting microorganisms. 
definitely drop a comment. Oh, there's two more. Oh, looks like they might have, they probably just split. There, that was probably one, and they're just about to split into two. <laughs> Finding stuff like that's always cool. Here, actually, uh, might as well. We wanted to drop into 600x to take a little bit closer look. Oh, so I don't nudge the slide. Let's back off a little bit. And then get refocused here very carefully. Where are we? Aha. Oh, too far. There we go. Now we're in at 600. Yeah, let me see if I can get things dialed just a little bit better. Do anything about that lens flare we got there. What? A little bit better. A little back the other way. Yeah, that's not too shabby. All right, now we're in at 600x. Oh yeah, let's look at these two over here. Yeah, nice little, see the double cell wall? They got an outer cell wall, inner cell wall, a couple other little objects inside of them, whatever those are. <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty neat stuff. Definitely a whole lot of bacteria in here. Just checking out that strand there. Oh, yeah, look at these other ones. Cluster of... Those are probably yeast. Pretty sure those are yeast. And these little strands over here. But then everything else wiggling around is bacteria. And it looks to be mostly types of bacillus. Lactose bacillus. There's a couple others. But I like all the different shapes and sizes. Focus on that little thing moving. Yeah. Uh, definitely got a lot of life in there. Look around a little bit more. Some more interesting things. Yeah. But yeah, I would say two thumbs up with the uh, amount of life in there, you know. Even if, uh, even if the culture were to die in your environment, it would still provide food for the rest of the biology and your plants. So yeah, that's a whole lot of critters. I would hate to have to do a uh, a bacteria count on this. <laughs> that would be a that would be a high number. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, click those buttons if you would be so kind. Um, check out the description for more in information on Thrive Yahweh, and uh, yeah, until next time, happy growing, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.